Are you trying to not fight with your spouse? I'm going to invite you to start fighting with your spouse in new ways. Join me for this episode and I'll talk with you how fighting can actually grow your marriage. Hi, I'm Julia Woods, coach, trainer, and founder of Beautiful Outcome, a coaching company committed to helping couples communicate so you can partner in creating your dream life and marriage. At the end of this episode, I'll be sharing a free gift that I have for you, so don't miss out on that. One of the wedding gifts my husband and I received was 10 rules to a happy marriage. The two rules that really stood out to me were don't yell at each other unless the house is on fire and don't go to bed angry. I felt a lot of shame because we were feeling feeling miserably at both of those. We yelled a lot and when we would have fights, many times we would stay up until two or three in the morning trying to not be mad at each other, but we just got more and more angry the longer we talked. Now, as we talk about this ways of fighting in new ways, I want to start by defining what fighting is. It's when two people have opposing opinions, ideas, or desires. There's a misunderstanding of expectation, communication, or desire, or there's a lack of communication of expectations, desires, or an agenda. As humans, We want to control and have things go the way we want them to go. We often do that through anger, stonewalling, over-talking, over-explaining things, dramatic expressions, using harsh words or tones, minimizing the other person, or using physical contact. The less we feel in control, the more aggressive and dramatic we can become. At the base level, when something isn't the going the way we want it to be or we think it should be, it creates an internal tension. Now, tension is a beautiful thing. It's a sign that you're alive. Think about tension in nature. All life is birthed through tension. Think about how a caterpillar breaks out of its cocoon, a rose breaks out of its bud, a baby is birthed. Did you know what actually makes a plant grow? A plant grows because as its root goes into the soil and it comes against an obstacle like clay or a rock or something that feels difficult to get through, as the root works to break through the tension of that obstacle, it actually sends things through the plant that produce growth. Your marriage is no different. The misunderstandings, differences of opinions, desires, and expectations with your spouse are the obstacles that want to grow you and your marriage. Their life and growth inviting you. They're happening for you as you long to build a marriage that's worth having. Think about that. When you feel that tension rise up inside of you in a conversation or an interaction with your spouse, do you see it as a gift of growth waiting to happen? What could happen if you did see it that way? The tension is the gift presenting itself. Now, how you process the tension, that's vital to look at. If you're like my husband and I, in the beginning of our marriage, we resisted the tension. We thought the tension was a problem. We were working to control the tension, ignore it, minimize it, blame each other for it, get rid of it. And all of these forms of resistance were simply making the tension that much bigger, that much more uncomfortable. The more we resisted the tension, the uglier and more hurtful we became. We, we were growing the tension rather than being in the tension and letting the tension grow us. When we fight against the tension, it grows bitterness and resentment, which weakens the relationship. However, when you accept the tension and learn to be in it with a learning and growing mindset, the tension will actually help you produce growth. It helps you understand yourself and each other better. It allows you to grow new understanding. You get to get clear about new steps that need to be taken. That's the beauty of what happens when you dance in the tension. It will strengthen your marriage just like a root in a plant that comes up against an obstacle. 
The plant doesn't get nervous, upset, or frustrated that it's hit an obstacle in the soil. Nope, it just works with the obstacle and finds a way to break through. How much growth could happen in your marriage if you embrace the tension and let it grow deeper connection, understanding, awareness, and strength between the two of you? If you want to learn more about how to do that, I share a very specific story about my husband and I's tension in the area of finances in my ebook called Turn Defensiveness into Connection. Defensiveness is what we experience when we're resisting the tension. This ebook is my gift to you. And if you click the description under this video, you can find a link to access your copy so you can start strengthening your relationship through the tension. As couples learn to dance in the tension, they're blown away at how much they stop dreading conflict with their spouse and actually appreciate it because they know how to break through it and connect more deeply with each other when they're in it. That is what I'm passionate about helping couples do. And if you want that and need support in getting there, please don't hesitate to contact me. If this episode was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and then click the button to subscribe to my channel so you can get notified when the next episode is released. Would you share one takeaway from this lesson in the comments below? Thank you and I'll see you again next week. Hun, on a scale of one to 10, how would you rate our ability to break through tension and produce growth in our conflict? I agree. More room for growth and we've come a long way. <laughs>